you're shooting stuff, um, every time you get a, every single shot um, should be at least 10 to 15 seconds long, in, even your uh, static shots. So right now, um, I just want you to re remember that. Um, because it's important when, because there's, there's nothing worse when you don't have enough to edit with. So please remember that. Um, make your shot, get your, you'll zoom in, zoom out, get your shot, record, make sure your tripod is level each time. Um, don't say anything, don't talk during it, get shot after shot after shot after shot. Shoot way too much, all right? Shoot way too much when you're out there. And also just make sure you're, you know, you're getting enough shots to work with. Natural sound is important. So it, it helps when there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of noise is going on, depending on what you're doing. Um, that helps a lot. Getting to have enough video is imperative, okay? getting different shots, uh, medium shots, wide shots, close-ups, lots and lots of close-ups. They best tell the story. I know I've been throwing that into your head, but they tell the story the best. I'm just gonna put up uh, a shot right now, what a medium close-up should be. Uh, for all your interviews, yes, there are other shots that you can use, but I want you to always use the medium close-up for any interview shot. If you know how to do a proper interview shot like this, um, you will have a much better chance of getting that first job. Um, it shows a basic understanding of, of composition and what the shot is and things such as nose room. Um, nose room is that uh, space on the side um, and uh, the, the, then you always want to try to have uh, the shoulder on one side or the other with, and they should always be looking at you. So you should just be to the left or the right of the camera when you're doing your interview, be it a sit-down interview or a stand-up interview, and they should always be looking at you, never at the camera, okay? And one of the first things you tell them is, uh, just look at me, the camera's not here, okay? There's another thing that you may be asking, where am I recording all this, where is it going, and how do I get that? Well, there is an SD card recording on here and it is just beneath this area over here it's actually it's kind of popping out i popped it out kind of there hopefully you can see that but it's in here you just kind of like pop it in it pops in if you take it out just kind of pop out like that and it slides out okay you may be asking what is that thing in neil's hand well this is the adapter all right this is the adapter that you need to be able to take the SD card and import it into the computer. Now in the back of the computer in our lab we have what are called C drive inputs and if you can see that right there it's small but they go into there so you're going to put that in the back of the computer you'll find them in the back of the computer and what you'll have to do is in here this says you're looking for the SD input okay it's not the big one here but it's one next to it says SD next to it. I know you probably can't see it right now. Once again, you just stick that in right there. Goes in, fits in nicely. Then you put this into the back of the computer. Um, and then it will eventually pop up on the, uh, on the computer, I might say untitled, or you'll, you'll definitely be able to see um, a, a new thing pop up on your desktop, and that'll be the, the drive.